My next guest, you all know. George is one of the most funniest guys working today. He's just published a new book called Sometimes a Little Brain Damage Can Help. Would <laughs> you welcome George Carlin? Thank you. Nice to see you. I haven't been here in about six months, so I got a few things stored up I wanted to mention to you. So I'd like to start right away, and we'll dispense with the meditation tonight, if you don't mind. Uh -huh. Any new business? Anybody with real needs? It's just Johnny. Johnny will be in charge of real needs tonight. Uh, we missed a couple of holidays together, and we just had a recent holiday, and I just want to make sure that everyone had a really nice, happy Halloween. I like Halloween, don't you? Halloween is fun. We did something a little different this year. We're kind of on a health kick at our house, and when the kids came around trick-or-treating, instead of giving them candy, we gave them a vitamin B12 shot. <laughs> yeah, it takes two people, one to hold the kid, the other one to give them a shot. Give them a handful of zinc tablets and send them on their way, you know? Also, Thanksgiving has come and gone since I saw you last, and again, we did something a little bit different. We didn't have turkey this year. We had a seagull. <laughs> You ever have them? They're nice. They're a little fishy, you know, but the um, great thing about a seagull, you don't have to add too much salt. <laughs> By the way, have you noticed humor rhymes with tumor? <laughs> also, Easter rhymes with keister. <laughs> However, nothing rhymes with nostril. <laughs> I figured that stuff all alone. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm feeling fairly good. I, I like to keep hurrying here because I never know which one of these things are going to die. <laughs> Uh, but I, I did have a, kind of a good day. A lot of comedians will tell you that I had a really good day. I found some macaroni and cheese this morning that I lost about a year and a half ago. <laughs> did you ever wake up and realize that so far everything has happened prior to now? <laughs> well, this is the kind of stuff I think of when I'm walking home alone backwards. <laughs> also, how come there are no B batteries? <laughs> Bothers me. I think Kleenex should have, should have targets in them, don't you? Wouldn't that be nice? Look, Dan, a 50. That's what we need. Right. Did you ever notice that Superman never pulls up for a landing? He jumps out of a window like that, he flies like this, but he never goes, whoa! Also, the Lone Ranger and Tonto never got their laundry done. Just something I noticed on my own. By the way, for those of you interested in foreign languages, the German word for blue is blue! <laughs> you know, every now and then they tell you that Mickey Mouse is 50 or something like that. You notice every now and then in the news they have nothing to say. They say, by the way, Mickey Mouse is 50. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear when he's 60. Don't tell me. Just don't bother. I hope he dies. <laughs> I hope Mickey dies. I'm glad I said it finally. Oh, wow, man. Hey, I'm doing Rodney. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> have you noticed... Have you noticed when you have a hat on for a long time, it feels like it's not there? And then when you take it off, it feels like it's still there. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let's hear it for Scotch tape, huh? Yay! Yay! What a great stuff. Hey, did you ever, um... <laughs> Did you ever picture a place you haven't been to? Like somebody tells you about their house, but you've never been there, so you form a mental picture. And then when you go there, you see it's different. And then later on that week, when you think of their house, do you think of your version or their version? It's up to you. It's your choice. <laughs> Wouldn't show business be great if everybody had their original teeth? That's what I'd like to see. All that weird, like, you know, some people really probably got some bad teeth. And sometimes you can tell, it with you. you know what I do? I watch the actors, and the, usually the caps end here, and they got yellow all back here. <laughs> yellow on the bottom. I look for that. That's what I do when I'm home alone and the television is broken. <laughs> do you ever eat two chickens on the same day? Sometimes you do. Can't help it. Sometimes at lunch, you have a chicken salad sandwich. Then you go to someone's house that evening, and they have chicken. Do you ever wonder if the two chickens knew each other? <laughs> Did you ever notice in a hotel they give you a sewing kit? You know what I do? Sew the towels together. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. It's like Juliet said to Romeo, get your hands off of me!
Hey, is this going out? This is the control room. Is this stuff going out? Only the good parts. Okay. <laughs> going straight to their homes, I hope. Jeez, I... I keep thinking it's Tuesday. I'm sorry, man. Uh, if you want to have a little fun... If you want to have a little fun, go to Ms. Magazine. Go to the main offices of Ms. Magazine and say, Hey, any of you gals like to come home and cook me a nice meal? <laughs> Speaking of women, by the way, you guys, when you're trying to pick up a lady, you know you're striking out when you ask for her phone number and it starts with 555. <laughs> Speaking of women, as I was the last two things I mentioned, I've never made it with a 10, but one night I made it with five twos. <laughs> Listen, by the way, they found another Gabor sister, Harpo. Listen, you want to have a little fun? Harmonize with the dial tone. You ever do that? You don't have a lot to do. Pick up the phone, it goes, mm. You go, mm. Get everybody in your office tomorrow on the extensions and go, mm. Well, I think that's about it for me. I just wanted to mention one thing to you. Remember, you're never alone. You always have yourself. <laughs> Good night. See you later. Chickens knew each other. We'll be back. Right. Stay where you are. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hello there. I'm just Hi. reading. Thank you, Doc. We're talking with author. We, this used to be the spot on the show where we'd have the author in the latter part of the show. Author spot. So yeah. it's fitting right in here. <laughs> this book is weird, George. Thank you, John. And funny. Weird and funny. The book club. Well, yeah, this is a, I have my own copy here, if, if you don't mind. Little, little, so little these mind. are yeah. subtitles of books you're thinking of? Uh... These are books, no, that are being offered right now. If you join now, you get all these books free. Uh-huh. Uh, Where to Bring a Short Woman. <laughs> Never Trust a, a Nun with a Gunshot Wound. Yeah. <laughs> How to Make a Flagpole Out of a Basketball. Right. How to Remove a Cyst from a Loved One. <laughs> Adopting the Dead. Very nice. Yeah. A complete list of everyone who enjoys coffee. <laughs> you can have a career in salt. How to get through college without a pencil. Are these things that happen when you uh, feel bad at night or late in the, yeah. early in the morning? As and... I say, when the TV is broken, I sit down with my pen and pencil. No pad, just a pen and pencil. <laughs> Pull out your hair and sing. Yes. Well, you have to read them fast. See, I think people have to be sitting there and they sort of grow. You got five in a row and then you sort of fall out of your chair. Oh. What else we got? This is to be hoped. Other books, I didn't see that. Well, those are ones that I wrote myself. H the History of Music in Iowa? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Six uh, Ways... Oh, I can't read that one. Uh, There's some in here that are just a little earthy. Okay. Here, here's one. Eat, run, stay fit, and die anyway. <laughs> By Jim. <laughs> the wrong underwear can kill. True. <laughs> How to fillet a panda. <laughs> When to let your bowels go crazy. That's I mean, right. what is what is this? Some people need guidance on these things. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a, a feature here, Johnny, in the future. These mm. are some things which are, you know, according to scientists, these things will probably occur. You want to be careful on a couple of these, too, by the way. Yeah, I, I have to read these work quickly. In the future, sure. I'll try, uh, I'll start you with one here. Religions will charge people a huge fee at birth and then pretty much leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> They'll cut out the middleman right yes, there. I like absolutely. that. Uh, In the future, vegetables will grow so large they will have to be eaten right at the farm. <laughs> These are the kind of things when you're a kid, In, they had the young In messenger. the future, man will control the weather with a large hammer. True. <laughs> no one will take drugs, but people will still buy them and carry them around. <laughs> American businessman's credo. You've got a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, well, it's in a lot of it's stuff. You know what it really you amounts had, so to? I saw me in here. Oh yeah, you're on the page I, of. Uh, I saw myself in here on predictions. Celebrity predictions. Don Ho will change his name to Ho Don. <laughs> Johnny Carson will stop getting married, but will continue to get divorced. <laughs> 
do your reading, but we'll continue <laughs> yes, to get to right. wars. Paul Newman will give up race driving and hitchhike across the country in a pirate costume. <laughs> Just, as I say, things that came out of the file, you silly, know, and I, I decided stuff. one day to get them together, and, uh... Oh, news, news from around the world. Oh, I got something for you, John, that might even be a little more attractive to you than that. This is called, uh, as soon as he found it, he said, uh, well, I ain't gonna worry about it now. <laughs> things you never see. Really interesting twins. <laughs> a guy who snorts iron ore. <laughs> A bum with nice luggage. These things you never see. A lower intestine donor. Right. <laughs> well, I go right for the, yeah. the weirdos. An 80-year-old woman with a well-coordinated wardrobe. <laughs> we got her. <it. laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, anyway, George you. Carlin, sometimes a little brain damage can help. What are you doing lately now? Well, uh, doing a lot of things in real life, but, you know, off, uh, off that path a little bit. We're, we're very interested in, uh, in charities. As you know, I've been working a lot with the Malibu Home for the Unimportant. <laughs> we're uh, trying to get a new group together called Vasectomies for the Unwilling. <laughs> also, the Yelling and Screaming Clinic, I suppose. Oh, oh yes. Done that. Yeah, yeah, they're right next door. You just move them from one building to the next. You're not into the one I donate to. What's that? The Polish Home for Unwed Bowlers. Oh, is, uh, but really large. that's something I'd like to get tied into if I, know I could. You, would, you, know. <laughs> you know, we're interested in the squat people of America are starting to reach out. The squat people? Squat. You know how they say a guy is short and squat? Oh, yeah. Well, there are squat people, apparently, and uh, there's a new, new move to hire the squat. Uh, <laughs> their slogan is, we're squat, so what? So what? Good, good. Catchy, pithy, right to the point. Also, people who have wet daydreams, there's a new support group for them. <laughs> wet daydreams? Yeah. Yeah. New support group you call, I suppose? Yeah, well, they have support, a lot of support groups out here in California. Right. You know, you have, uh, there's a suicide group. By the way, we have three openings. <laughs> Couldn't get the call Which through, obviously, involved. yes. And the Coalition for Better Pancakes. I've been working with them. Do you like pancakes? Pancakes yeah. is a good word. The International House of Pancakes is an interesting organization. The International House of, uh, the International House of Salt and Pepper, <laughs> which I don't get to too often, thank God. <laughs> I think I'll have a little of this. Uh, do you do you invest in other things, or, in, rather than just well, show I've, business? Or I've been, I've been, you know, I've been. Most enter, most entertainers are not <laughs> well put. I think yeah. yes, I, yeah, well put. I, think. I have so many. I might have to write. Payne Weber had that before. Don't get lost. That's right. Uh, I've had some bad business. Uh, I am into something nice now. It's a light bulb that only shines on things you really want to see. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't go on at all. And uh, you'll be interested in this, uh, Ed. This is a new kind of a combination New Year's hat and barf bag. 